Well, there it is. Look, wonderful pastries, eclairs, cream puffs, so much more that you can do with this patent of shoe dough that you now learn how to master. Hi, I'm Chef Don McMillan, and welcome to Simple and Delicious Recipes. Today, we are going to make pat de choux dough. That's right, pat de choux dough. This is the type of dough where you can learn to make, look, cream puffs and eclairs and so many other wonderful dishes. So let's go ahead and get started. Pat de choux dough is so easy to remember. Just remember the number one. One cup of eggs, which is four. One cup of water. One cup of flour. And by the way, I'm using bread flour because it has more gluten. Okay? You could use all purpose, but that's okay. And also, one stick of butter and a teaspoon of salt. How easy is that? So, first of all, let's go ahead and put the water, a cup of water, and a stick of butter right in our pot, like this, and add the salt. Turn the fire on, bring it to a boil or a light simmer, and then we're gonna add in the flour. I'll show you how that goes in just a minute. Let me move some of these things out of my way. And while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go ahead and break my eggs. I like to break the eggs on a flat surface and that way the shells will break in half. So we'll crack some eggs and put them right in there. This way we'll have them ready when we start making our dough. So four eggs equals one cup. Just remember that number one and you have this recipe ready to go. butter to melt. So this recipe can be used for so many different desserts as we've said earlier. And it is a classic uh, recipe. You can make the uh, dough, you can make the different pastries ahead of time, but the Pakachu recipe is just so simple, it's universal. I've done many different events. I've used it for savory pastries, appetizers. I've used it for also uh, dinner or luncheons. Uh, so you can fill them with so many different things. Okay, so look, the butter's almost melted. As soon as that butter melts, I'm gonna turn the fire off and I'm gonna add the flour all at once and form it into a ball. Stir, okay. Turn the fire off, dump the flour in all at once. And then stir it. Once it forms a ball, I'm going to turn the fire back on to medium and let this cook down a little bit. You got to cook out that floury flavor to it. And also, you want it to form a firm ball. And if you don't do that, your um, pastries will not be in the same shape that you want to. You want to hold that shape. But look how it just formed a ball like that in the pan. So let's go ahead and turn the fire back on. And let's go down flame, be sure we don't have it too high, and then cook. So we're cooking this dough, it's going to take about two or three minutes, so be patient with it, okay? And keep stirring it, you can't just put it in here and forget about it. You got to keep it moving because it, look, it's sticking to the bottom of the pan right now. And as it's sticking to the bottom of the pan, a lot of that moisture from the water is starting to cook out, okay? And that, of course, the fat and the flour are forming this wonderful mass that we're going to use to make our pastries. Yes, so classic recipe, uh, Patashu is the typical name of it. And if you look it up, you'll see, you'll see many different applications. And I use it, as I said earlier, for appetizers as well. You do want to cook it off in a hot oven. So depending what you're going to uh, put inside of them, if you're going to fill them or you're going to cover them with something, you want to be sure that the temperature, like say, the meat is cooked ahead of time, because that's what you want to do. Usually, shellfish cooks up pretty quick, so you don't have to worry about that. 
Okay, still stirring. I'm gonna give it about another minute. All right, it's cooked down perfectly. Smell that butter in there, smells so good. This goes right into the bowl, just like this. Now this is hot, so we're not gonna add the eggs right now. We're gonna just cool it down just a little bit. Do that, put your wire whisk in there. And just stir a little bit, let it cool. You'll see some steam coming up, look. See the steam coming up? That's good, we want it to cool down a little bit. If I put my eggs in there too soon, I'll end up with scrambled eggs and don't want to do that. Okay, so the dough has cooled down somewhat. Still a little bit of steam coming out of it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add one egg at a, one egg at a time and incorporate it. So we'll do that. We'll just put in one egg, just like that, and then stir it in. And then beat it in. Mixer off and repeat. Stir. Don't put it on fast right away because that egg will just pop right out. Don't want to do that. Straight down the side of the bowl. This way we get all of the dough incorporated. And we'll add another egg. Straight down the side of the bowl one last time. Look at that paste. It's just ready to go, but we're just going to be sure it's all 100% incorporated. Don't leave anything to try. I'm just going to take all of that. Here we go one last time. Now you got to do it fast because you want to incorporate some air into it as well. Okay, let's look at that. And this is it. This is our pate choux dough. And it's ready for your favorite dessert. And of course, it's just ready to go. You decide what you'd like to do with it. You can refrigerate it at this point and use it on another day, but uh, we're gonna start baking in just a minute. Well, there it is. Look, wonderful pastries, eclairs, cream puffs, so much more that you can do with this pack of shoe dough that you've now learned how to master. Just do that, you can make some of these things up ahead of time. As I said before, they're good for appetizers, entrees, desserts, all different things. Look, hook us up on Patreon down below. We'd love to have you do that. I've put down the recipes for the pap de choux dough and some other recipes that you'd like to have as well. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit our support us because when you do that, it really means a lot to us. And when you subscribe, if you haven't already, please share with your friends and family. And thank you so much because whenever you're cooking with Chef Don, you know it's absolutely simple and delicious.